today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look and I've had so many requests for this picture right here. I actually got this one off of Instagram that someone tagged me in so thank you so much for tagging me. I want to quickly say too that we do have different eye shapes. Her are more deep set and mine are not. Her eyes are. So um, it's going to look a little bit different. Of course everybody does not have the same eyeballs so it's going to look a little different but I tried my best to kind of recreate it for you guys so you can see how it looks on my eyes. This is like the perfect look for fall, winter time. It's just classic and you can always go back to it no matter what year. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Okay, first off, I'm going to go ahead and apply my tape. You guys know I love to do this so I can get nice sharp lines. And then going in with the Itch Duty Time palette, I'm going to take this shade right here. It's a really nice warm transition shade. So I'm going to put this right into the crease and just build that color up. You could tell in the picture that she had a very warm transition shade. So that's why I'm applying this one. Going back to the OG, the original Naked palette, I'm going to go ahead and take Half Baked and put this all over my lid. Last time I remember this was a lot more pigmented, but I definitely had to pile this color on. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with this Lorac Pro palette, the first one, and take this gold shade because I felt like that one was a little too bright for me. So I wanted to kind of tone it down with this gold in the Lorac Pro because it's more of like an antiqued shade. And it doesn't tone it down too much, but it's just enough. So I'm going to take Sable and start applying this in that outer corner, but then I went back with Espresso and Sable with a pencil brush and I just ended up deepening it up this way. The pencil brush just gave me more control and you can tell in the picture that she does get this color all the way in the crease and right there in the inner corner. So I'm just going to take any excess that I have on the brush and just drag it in. I'm not going to focus too much on putting a lot of color in the crease, it's just kind of faded in there. Most of the color is on the outer half so just, so just focus on darkening up the outer half and then dragging whatever excess you have into the crease. Then I'm taking this Alexa Persco, I think it is, cosmetic, and I forget the name of this, but I'll have it down below. And you can't really tell on camera, but this added like a nice highlight right to the center of the lid, which is what it looked like the girl had in the picture. It's nothing too crazy, but it just adds that bit of light right there and gives it a little bit more life. After taking off the tape, I'm going to take my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to line my eyes. Her liner was really thin from the inner corner to about halfway and then she winged it out and the winged liner was pretty straight so I made mine as straight as possible without looking goofy because my eyes are more downturned so I can't do it super straight. Then I'm going to take my NARS eyeliner and I lined my upper waterline. And then for lashes, I used a Velour Girl You Crazy, which I have a coupon for them down below. And then I'm applying primer and my foundation, which I have just been falling in love with Estee Lauder Double Wear again, you guys. It's just so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I can't, I'm back to it, y'all. I can't. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply this with my Sigma F80. I need to do a serious brush cleaning pronto. And then I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealers and just doing the normal highlighting and concealing underneath the eyes and in the center of the face. Then I'm taking the Anastasia Contour Kit and taking this shade right here and I'm going to be setting my concealer with that. So I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Give Me Sun, and I'm just going to be putting this on the top of my forehead, my cheeks, and then um, around my neck. And then I'm going to lightly contour with my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm not doing anything too crazy, but I do want to shape the face. You could tell she definitely had some contouring going on in the photo.
For blush, I'm taking NARS Madly. I feel like this complements this look absolutely amazingly. Like, look at it. It just gives a nice kind of glow. Love this blush. And then I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. Going to fill in my brows with this fluid line from MAC and then I'm going to highlight underneath the brow with these two shades. It was white and cream from the first Lorac palette and highlighting will really help bring this look together. And then for the waterline, she did have a nude color on her waterline so I'm taking this one from Rimmel and lining that waterline and this nude liner by Rimmel is freaking amazing. I love it. And then I'm going to go in with Half Baked again and just drag this underneath the lower lash line and just put some color down there. She didn't really have much on her lower lash line, but I did see some gold, so that's just what I'm doing here. Then I'm putting on some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm using Clinique Bottom Lash. I love this one because it gets right to the root, so it helps cover up any of the nude shade that might have gotten on the lashes. Then the highlight, I'm using Bobbi Brown's highlighter in beige, and it is stunning. I love this one. So pretty. And then for lips, I'm taking Deep Red from NYX, and I'm lining them. I thought this was a lot deeper, but um, yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> and then I'm going to take Max Diva and apply that. And then to really deepen up this look like the girl had in the photo, we're going to take this Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss. I forget the name, but it's kind of like a purpley red color. It's very gorgeous. The lip was definitely a lot deeper than it's coming off on camera, but this whole color combo really suited the look so well. And this lip gloss is bomb, so I'll leave it down below with a coupon if you're interested. So that's it for this makeup look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.